I was since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Welcome shoot. back to another beer review. Uh, we are going back to Beachwood tonight, checking out their ninth anniversary Imperial. I think it's an Imperial India Pale Ale. It just says India Pale Ale. This is Beachwood 9. Uh, Beachwood is out of Long Beach. They're... I think I've mentioned this on my previous Beachwood reviews, but they started out as a barbecue place and then decided to have a brewery put onto their um, restaurant. Um, and Julian, who was an awesome San Diego home brewer, was the, um, I don't know, named or hired as the head brewer over there, and he makes some killer hoppy beers. Um, this one, it, since I, I think just because it's their ninth anniversary, they brewed it with nine hops. I've talked about this before I'm not a big fan of beers using a million hops just because everything just kind of meshes together but this is brewed with citrus centennial chinook mosaic equinox nelson galaxy warrior and comet so <laughs> there you go nine hops for nine years 10 percent um for whatever reason this beer is not dated but I know that their ninth anniversary was right around it was right around Christmas time so time of recording we're just a little over a month old on this um, I got to give a big thanks to my buddy Todd. Uh, he went to Beachwood's anniversary party and got me um, a bottle of this. So looking forward to reviewing this. I haven't had a Beachwood beer in a while on this channel. And uh, I love this in Beachwood. Beachwood was one of my favorite West Coast breweries. Still is. I enjoy their beers. They're very in your face. Huge, they're usually huge beers. They're always like between 8 and 10%. Um, this one is 10%. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, so the beer pour is crystal clear. It looks like a West Coast IPA in the glass. It's that golden kind of amber color. There was about a finger of bright white head when we poured that. It's dissipating very quickly. Uh, lots and lots of carbonation in that glass. So this looks exactly like a West Coast IPA um, should look. Or we've grown accustomed to West Coast IPAs looking. So uh, like I said, nine hops. I'm not going to be able to pull everything out of all this. But let's go ahead and stick our nose in and see what she smells like. Um, first thing I notice is this is on the maltier side. It's sweet malts, um, but there is, there's that dankness and there's a ton, a ton of citrus. It's sweet citrus though. I think I'm smelling, it's not like fusel alcohol, but I'm smelling every bit of that 10%. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very citrus dominant. I think that's the citrus. It's oranges, it's tangerines, it's grapefruit. Um, it's dank, it's resinous. But yeah, there's those big, big, bready sweet malts. It's very sweet smelling. But I think that's the 10% that we're smelling. I, I just, Beachwood beers don't hide their booze very well. Um, like I said, it's not like that hot, like fusel alcohol smell, but it's definitely, you're smelling every bit of 10%. But yeah, it's herbaceous. It's got a little bit of that basil thing going on. Um, yeah, dank, floral, uh, grassy. This is, I mean, it smells like a West Coast hot bomb. So yeah, let's go and dig in. Todd, thank you, sir. Cheers. Yeah, that's sweet. Talked about this. Double digit uh, IPAs aren't my favorite just because there's that fine line between amazing and kind of a mess. This one's not syrupy, but it's definitely sweet. Um... Just having triple sunshine, which was 10.5%, you can't really compare the two because that one's much more balanced, <clears throat> um, much easier drinking. This one, it's it's just it's it's bitter, it's dank, it's resinous, um, it's like that sweet kind of bready malt. There's a bunch of citrus in there though. Um, with all of that, there's oranges, sweet tangerines, um, grapefruit, lemon peel. It's just if you've had West Coast hot bombs of beers you know what you would get in this. Um, you guys who are on the West Coast who drink Beachwood beers, this is like a classic Beachwood beer for me. Um, it is sweet. I imagine when this warms, it's going to be even sweeter. Uh, that 10% is going to come out even more. You definitely know you're drinking a big beer with this one. But yeah, it's just super bitter, super resinous, piney, floral. Um, bitterness is just kind of sitting on your tongue. Um, finish is sweet though, like, like those sweet like bready malts. You do get this the citrus on the back end. Um, I don't know if it's just like an age thing. Like I said, this was like around Christmas time, so we're over a month old with this. I mean, beer should hold up like their whatever hops they're using. Those you know the 
profile of those hops. It should hold up longer than you know five or six weeks. Um, it's this is just like a massive bitter attack on your tongue. It's hoppy. It's in your face. Um, not a lot of balance for me. Um, there, you know, it's just it drinks sweet. It drinks every bit of that ten percent. So. Um, not a bad beer by any means, but it's just for me, for what I like, I'm not a big double digit IPA drinker anymore. I'm just not. I used to like them um, a couple years ago. I was just big, like, let's just get the craziest, hoppiest, piniest, resinous, just booziest beer we can get. Um, and as my palate's evolved a little bit and I've drank, you know, more beers and I've figured out what I like and what I don't like, um, double digit beers just aren't something that I go crazy over anymore. So, um, yeah, as far as a grade goes for this one, I'd probably, I mean, it's a, it's a solid like B beer. Um, nothing that nothing that I'm going crazy over. Nothing that's blowing my mind. Nothing that I mean, honestly, because of the alcohol content and how sweet it is, and how just big of a beer it is, and how it's unbalanced, just in your face. Um, I wouldn't I, I I wouldn't drink this again. But that doesn't mean it's bad. It's just my personal preference. If you like huge hot bombs, West Coast resinous, dank, in your face, unbalanced, just like kill your tongue like we're gonna you know we're doing this with nine different hops this is the beer for you um for me it's like an 85 86 just like you know right in the b range um definitely not my favorite beer from beachwood um, but it's always fun checking out their beers julian makes good good stuff so that's beachwood's ninth anniversary if you guys have had it leave a comment below and let me know what you think todd thanks so much for sending it i always love checking out uh west coast beers again so uh, yeah, 85 for me. I'm out of here, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't.